Okay, so we're going to keep the anode of the tube two and a half inches away from ground so we don't pick up any stray capacitance. Two and a half by two and a half. So I marked it, going to cut the hole and drop in the socket. Okay, so what I normally do is I'll take my drill and I'll drill a hole here, 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 here on the inside of the traced circle and then I'll use my jigsaw to carefully cut the hole and I'll be back voila I cut a hole so I just have to clean it up with my file I didn't mention before but I uh, tape it off so I don't scratch the floor so I have the socket here Boom, drops right in. Oh, I'm hitting the workbench, but get the idea. So, absolutely no obstruction. These holes still have metal underneath them. So what I'm going to do is, I will be taking the chimney, I said before in another video, and that the previous video, I will drill four holes. One, two, three, four. Well, noon, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. I will tap them and I will put studs in them and I'll go through. They'll be lined up with these four holes right here. So basically I can drop the chimney down and attach the nuts, a washer and a nut on the other side. So I'll be able to remove it. A thin layer of silicone under the tip one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start that. I have to put the tube, I'll have the tube in the socket. Slip the chimney over. I'm going to go to mark the holes just to make sure it's perfectly lined up. So, this is a process, one thing at a time. So, get a wall right here and cap nice and close. Alright, I'll be back. More to come. Stay tuned. Okay, we have my other 6000 tube here. This is an Aconco rebuilt tube. New never used, but like I said before, he's getting a new Penta. This is one of my two tubes. So I'm going to flip it over, hold this in place, mark the four hole positions, remove the chimney, bring it over to my drill press, Drill the holes, tap the holes, and then cut some studs. Then I'll go ahead and install the socket and the chimney. I'll be back. Okay, so I drilled and tapped the chimney. Put a thin layer of silicone on the thread. Just to help stop it from backing out. It won't anyway, but... So, tube is in the socket. I will slip the chimney on it and show you what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so here we go. Got the tube installed, chimney, got enough surface area for a strap. Copper strap will go approximately that far around. And then I'll have another strap soldered to that. And I'll come over to the plate blockers. And I'll have a clamp that goes around. So, stops the strap from getting heated up, and you know by uh, being in the path of the exhaust air flow, and also won't restrict any of the exhaust airflow. So, put a thin layer of silicone under the chimney between the chimney and the uh, metal. I cleaned the top part of the socket off really well uh, and also the surface where the socket is mating so it gets a really good electrical connection and here we go used kept nuts with washers and uh, that's that for now so nice and clean it's the first step so I'll go ahead and upload this and uh, have some other stuff to do 
This is uh, not my primary work. This is like a secondary thing, so I still have to get to customers' amplifiers. Uh, two, two were just uh, dropped off, a uh, SP220 and another 922, and also two AL572s were dropped off yesterday. So, very, very busy here. So, okay. Once again, this is my tube. This is a tube I'm just plugging in for now. I can unplug it, and then I'm using it for mock-up. He will be getting a brand new Pentalabs tube with a warranty. So, Left Penta, great company. So, okay. That's it for this video. Here's my phone number and my website.